Imagine a life where fear no longer holds you back from achieving your dreams and reaching your full potential. That's exactly what John Hagel's book, The Journey Beyond Fear, is all about. As a business strategist in Silicon Valley, he's worked with some of the most successful people in the world and has seen firsthand how fear can limit us. But fear doesn't have to control us. In this video, we'll explore the three practical tools that Hagel has identified to help us overcome fear and make the most of exciting new opportunities in both our personal and professional lives. So, let's dive in and discover how we can achieve our full potential with these simple but powerful tools. Chapter 1. The pressure and fear that we experience in our lives and careers are real and can be overwhelming. However, it is important to remember that we are not alone in feeling this way. With globalization and technological advancements, the competition has become fierce, and the fear of losing out to others or machines can be paralyzing. Fear is not a good motivator as it leads us to focus on short-term goals and creates a belief that resources or rewards are limited, leading to a vicious circle of rivalry and increased pressure. However, hope and excitement can be powerful motivators that can help us navigate through challenging times and lead us to success. It is crucial to view our lives and careers as a journey, a voyage across the sea, where we are the vessel, and the journey is worth making because there are countless opportunities out there. To stay motivated and reach our destination, we need tools that can guide us and help us achieve our potential. Author Hagel, who has had his fair share of challenges in life and career, has identified three tools that can help us keep going, regardless of the obstacles. These tools are accessible to everyone, and they can help us move beyond our fears and find success. Therefore, it is essential to remember that we can move beyond our fears and find success by using these tools. We can embrace hope and excitement as our motivators, view our lives and careers as a journey, and use the tools identified by the author to achieve our goals. Chapter 2. Motivation is essential to achieving our goals and finding fulfillment in life. However, fear is not an effective source of motivation. Instead, we need to find a positive force that inspires us to take action. One way to do this is by creating a personal, opportunity-based narrative. A narrative is different from a story in that it is open-ended and personal. It is a call to action that focuses on our ability to make a positive impact. By seeking an opportunity-based narrative, we can find the motivation we need to achieve our goals. To create our personal narrative, we need to start by asking ourselves some questions. We need to think about how we see the future and whether we view it as a source of fear or opportunity. We also need to consider our expectations of others and the kind of collaboration we want from them. Additionally, we need to reflect on the choices and actions we are facing in the near future and what they say about our motivations. Finally, we need to work out what support we need from others to achieve our goals. By engaging in this kind of self-reflection, we can better understand our narrative and discover some interesting truths about ourselves. Perhaps our career choices have been driven by fear rather than opportunity, or we have been holding ourselves back for years. It's never too late to change, and our narrative will evolve throughout our lives. Finding our personal narrative can be hugely motivational and a source of inspiration at any point in our lives. By understanding our motivations and taking action to achieve our goals, we can find fulfillment and achieve our potential. Chapter 3. Institutional narratives are a crucial component of a company's success. They can help create a strong sense of identity, attract talented employees, and inspire customers. One great example of this is Apple's Think Different slogan, which spoke to people's desire for individuality and creative expression. Crafting an institutional narrative requires introspection and consideration of the company's values, customers, and opportunities. As a starting point, companies should ask themselves who their most important customers and stakeholders will be in the next decade, and what opportunities they can help these groups to address. They should also consider the challenges that customers may face in pursuing these opportunities and how the company can inspire them to overcome those obstacles. A strong institutional narrative should be clear, powerful, and inspiring, focused on opportunity rather than fear. For example, a healthcare provider might craft a narrative that focuses on proactive wellness rather than just treating disease. 
In conclusion, institutional narratives matter because they help create a sense of purpose and identity for a company. By crafting a clear and inspiring narrative, companies can attract talented employees, inspire customers, and create a network of collaborators who can contribute to the company's success. Chapter 4. Finding your passion and integrating it into your working life is an essential step towards achieving your full potential and finding fulfillment in your career. The passion of the explorer, as described by Hagel, involves a commitment to a specific domain and an eagerness to overcome challenges and connect with others who share that passion. To find your passion, you can reflect on your personal narrative and explore other inspiring narratives, such as those found in businesses, religions, and political movements. Once you have identified your passion, you can take small steps to integrate it into your current job by finding elements that excite you and seeking opportunities to build on those elements. By following these steps, you can achieve a greater sense of purpose and excitement in your work, leading to greater personal and professional success. Remember that finding your passion is a journey that can begin at any point in your life, so keep exploring and discovering what truly motivates and excites you. Chapter 5. Learning platforms are governance structures that provide guidelines for interaction and make it easier for members to connect and collaborate. Unlike other platforms, learning platforms specifically help users learn together through action and interaction with others. By working together on learning platforms, individuals can harness network effects and learn faster, leading to significant improvements for both the individual and the organization. Examples of learning platforms include the online forum created by SAP for application developers, where developers could get help from each other and become more productive as a result. Learning platforms are essential tools for achieving one's full potential, and they can help individuals make a real impact in people's lives. As such, John Hagel is currently in the process of developing his own learning platform to help individuals develop their narratives, cultivate their passions, and make a real impact in the world. Overall, learning platforms can unleash limitless potential by providing the right tools and support for individuals to overcome their fears and achieve their goals. Summary. Overcoming fear is crucial for achieving your potential in life. To do this, it's important to identify your personal narrative and passions, and collaborate with others through learning platforms. Creating small groups or cells of 3 to 15 people can be an effective way to foster trust-based relationships and accelerate learning. By adopting cellular organization in your workplace or community, you can make a bigger impact and achieve your true potential. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more great content. Trust me, you won't regret it.